Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work. It's been 24 hours with the new Mobile G3. I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit about it. So, let's start the video. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so the new Mobile G3 has been out for almost a month now. I just got it inside the phone ticket work offices about less than 24 hours ago. I did have it for a couple of days, but I did not have a chance to actually um, unbox it until, until yesterday morning. So I just wanted to actually talk about it real quick. The phone is pretty smooth. It's basically a stock Android device. There is not many apps past has like the Google apps and there's no blowware apps there's no apps from new or anything like that you do have like an FM radio app and you do have another app that I don't even know what it's even meant for but the phone has been pretty smooth for me so far I was watching a lot of YouTube videos about it well with it and the screen looks way better with the wallpaper that they actually provide you out the box now as far as the screen it's okay it's not bad it's not as bad as blue like as far as like the panels that have only 720p it's not bad as them they're pretty horrible um 720p i remember that i had the e4 plus i had the moto e4 that is 720p basically it's a little bit more vibrant than those, which is good. But I think at the $200 price point, it could be a little bit better because you have a lot of phones that do have the 1080p. As far as ZTE, you got Moto phones, um, you do have the Huawei Mi SC. Now, that would probably be like the only downfall that a lot of people are actually talking about this phone so far. Now the cameras, I can definitely say how the front facing camera is actually pretty good. I actually took some shots earlier and it actually looks pretty crispy. Like it's not it's not bad at all. I think that maybe like the rear needs like a little bit more work, but I'm actually doing some videos about the cameras and I will upload that on the channel pretty soon. But I think how the front facing camera has been pretty good for me so far I will have more testings with the rear facing camera because it does have a dual camera here now the fingerprint scanner so the fingerprint scanner has been pretty good for me I'm definitely digging the fingerprint scanner it's pretty fast um, it's, um, it's really up there with like the Huawei devices and like the LG devices it's pretty fast and I like the fact that it does have a little bit of um, like a square more than like the circle that a lot of people do. So you do have a lot more real estate if you do have bigger fingers. Now, I love the fact that it has type C right there in the bottom there. And it does have a single speaker, even though you do have like the two little cutouts that actually make it look like so like it's basically using the same idea as um, as the iPhones um, I'm definitely digging that you do have like a you do have a front facing flash and you do have a indicator if you get a message which is pretty cool um, I don't really see that like in a lot of phones nowadays and they're definitely trying to actually shy away from that but it's pretty cool just to have it there um charging wise the brick that actually came with the phone i think it was um like 900 like um it's not even amps it's like it's like milliamps or something like that so so there's no fast charging um battery life i haven't inserted my sim card in it yet because I haven't really had a chance to. Um, it's only been only 24 hours, but I'm gonna definitely try that today. Um, um, and I was actually trying to put my SIM card in it right now, but the fact that the little slot here um, has like a really deep in pin. So you really have to use the one 
that actually come in the box because I have a lot of those pins on my keys. So I tried all three and it's not really even fitting in there. So you need like the one that actually came inside the box. Um, it's just a beautiful phone. Like um, I had to shrink like the fonts. Um, the I think how the apps look a little bit large, but it's not annoying to me. But I did have to shrink that, so I had to go into settings and I had to go to developer settings and I had to shrink it down to 420. I'm not sure what the setting is called right now, but I definitely had to shrink that because it was just too like large, you could say. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. I don't, I'm not gonna make this video super long, 24 hours later. Hopefully, I will have a full review on the phone so far. Camera's okay. The screen. So, I didn't really go in depth about the screen because I feel like I have to have more time on it. But there's someone arguing behind me. I don't know what's going on there. But um, the screen, that wallpaper that actually came with the phone um almost makes it look like it's it's like uh you see how, like an amblet panel you see how that looks that looks amazing right but if i change that to something with like a little bit of white or gray it does not do it justice but it's definitely better than blue than the moto phones that was on the e4 is it better than a 1080p panel like the Mate SC or even like the Mi A1, probably not. But um, you definitely do have a lot more things that you don't get with those other phones, including Type C, and you do have the NFC here, so you're able to make um, transactions. But but if you guys have any more questions about the um, new Mobile G3. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm filming on the Galaxy S9 Plus with the front-facing camera, 1440p. I'll probably upload it straight to YouTube. So follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the new mobile G3. Big shout-out to New Mobile for actually sending this out to me for a honest review. And that's what I'm definitely going to bring to you guys because I don't really have anything to hide. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this. Later.